Hello and today we are going to be showing you how you can turn your passions into profits. Welcome to Cyber Tactics. Hello there, and today we're going to be taking another look at membership sites, something uh, that we've taken a look at in the past and something that today I think you're going to uh, like the uh, solution that's being offered here. So membership sites are fantastic, but um, in terms of, you know, in terms of bringing money into a business, they're really good. You don't just sell it once and then that's it. You get a recurring uh, fee from your clients every single month. And the great thing about that is that that means you don't need to keep bringing in as many clients. You just need to make sure that when they drop off your membership site, uh, you have enough clients to replace them. Um, it's a much better way of... Uh, of trying to run a business because you know at the end of, of each month that you've got a certain amount of income that's almost guaranteed unless people start to to drop out but it's a really great way of doing it the problem is that the software to do this with is either clunky or expensive so you know if you run through some of the bits of software that uh, people use regularly to make membership websites you're talking things like um member mouse uh, or a wishlist member or something that's WordPress based. And you know what? I love WordPress sites. I will run WordPress blogs as as long as the day is long. Um, but the problem, of course, is that, you know, you have to be in control of that security. And if something goes wrong on your web server, if something goes wrong on uh, the um, you know, if your site gets hacked, if uh, suddenly the, there's an update and your software stops working, then that's on you to fix that. And you've got paying members at that point who will want to access their product who may not be able to do so. So it's, whilst there's nothing wrong with running a WordPress membership site, there are drawbacks with doing it. And it's kind of seen as the cheap option now. Uh, a better option is to use a, a dedicated membership platform. And there's a couple of round JVZoo member we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Product Dino is another one, which is, is fantastic, really good. I've got to uh, use that myself. But again, these things are expensive. They're not. It's not the cheap option, uh, and some people just can't afford that that one thing. So today, you've got uh, a chance of picking up uh, something which is a proper solution to run your membership sites with, but at the same time, it's not going to break the bank. It's called um, Invanto Member Factory, and uh, this you're basically getting the pro version of this, this software. The pro version uh, costs around about $500 a year. So you can see, uh, actually, that that's quite a big chunk of money that uh, uh, that you won't have to spend it because at the moment you can pick this up for 49 bucks for life um, now I know a lot of people are going to think okay well that's that's a very cheap thing how can they keep this going what's their business model like but this isn't the first time they've done this sort of thing they've already run this same kind of promotion through AppSumo, which is great. Uh, they've already um, got people who are on board, who are paying them monthly fees, yearly fees, in order to get all of the features that you're going to get for 49 bucks. It's a very, very good deal. Um, and it's a very quick to set up piece of uh, a membership site. It's, uh, I would say, you know, as, as I said, we looked at JVZ member um, a couple of weeks ago. I find that an easier setup because that's sort of meant to be a very, very easy setup for people who don't quite know what they're doing. This is a little bit more involved, but not so much more involved that you're going to look at it and go, I don't know what to do. And in fact, we'll take a look at that uh, just here. So this is Member Factory. This is the, I've got nothing on here at the moment, and we're just going to create uh, a brand new site. It's a three-step three process, I think, to create a new site. We'll click on here. Uh, we need the site name. I'm going to call it uh, Cyber Tactics. <laughs> Suddenly you realise you don't know how to spell stuff. Uh, Cyber Tactics Test. Uh, this is a test. Um, select translation. We don't need to worry about it. It's primary currency. You can choose what currency you want, but we'll set it in US dollars. Um, Cyber Tactics Test as the dot site dot Invanto. That's fine. The sales page. Uh, URL. Um, we need a valid sales page URL, which we don't have. Um, go without that. Yes, we can. And then you go into payment, and you've got all of these types of payment: PayPal, Stripe, 
JVZ World Clickbank, um, and this will actually this will integrate with Warrior Plus as well. So it doesn't matter if you wanted to sell something through uh, an affiliate network, you you do have the option here. But these are the ones that are shown as, as standard. Uh, so I can put settings for PayPal. I can put my uh, info. What? There we go. That's my PayPal address in there. Uh, that's been recorded successfully. Um, I now click on next. There we go. Um, finish that there. And that's the site set up. That's as, as, as simple as it is. Now, obviously, there's other things that you're going to want to set up as well. Uh, so from here, you can select products, uh, add in your content. Uh, so you can add categories and pages. Uh, you can manage your members. Uh, which we haven't got obviously, but if you wanted to add a member, see how simple it is to, you know, uh, add a free user or enable a user and select whatever membership plan uh, you've got in there. We've got PayPal as a payment gateway. Look in there now. Um, start dates and end dates and actives and expireds and all the things that you'd expect uh, for that. You've got subscriptions, so you'll be able to see what subscriptions you, people have got. Uh, and then you've also got all of these things as well. Uh, so you can set up autoresponders and your membership plans and static pages and site menus and everything that you would need in order to um, to run a, a, a full membership site. Now, there are a few things that you kind of need to, to be uh, aware of with this. First of all, if you sell anything, you're going to have a 1% transaction fee. That's one of the ways that they're going to be able to keep uh, the cost of this down is by having that 1% transaction fee. Um, I ran some numbers on this, and you know, you know, that to some people might put them off, but to me, I've, I kind of felt that's not too expensive if you consider that those transaction fees are coming from members who would be paying, I don't know, five, seven, ten dollars a month for your services, for your, your, your membership site. Um, that's not too bad. I'd, I'd, I'd be quite happy um, running with that. Now, you can do things like uh, map your own domains to this. So if you wanted to have uh, yoursite.com or, or, or membership.yoursite.com, you could run that through uh, domain mapping. Uh, you've got menus, you've got um, email templates and stuff. You can see your basic templates. You can set everything up. Uh, here, um, you can cancel subscriptions and reactivations and everything. Uh, it's all completely editable. Go back to our payment gateways page, for example. We can go to our autoresponders list, and uh, you can integrate your autoresponders in, into that by, I think, just clicking. All right, okay, yeah, integrate your autoresponders into that. I, I'm not on that section yet. It's fairly simple. Um, like I said before, it's not quite as simple um as uh some of the other tools that we've looked at in the past but it is simple enough i think that if if you follow the tutorials that they've got in here and then just go through the process you'll be able to set up a site pretty quickly i think the demo on their website is about 120 seconds or something like that to set up a, a, a website and then all you've got to worry about is getting the content onto that membership site in a regular um and and easy to to do manner um as a lifetime product, I can't really fault it. It's very, very good. It's very good value for money. Um, if you go, uh, there's an upgrade available for this, and, and that's $49 a year, I think it is, every year. Uh, but then you get access to all the other tools that, that, that you get with this platform as well. So it's not just the membership things. There's carts and all, oh, there's all sorts of things. Really, that's that's something for a, a, another review. But um, for what you get with this, it's actually it's pretty good. I mean, platform's been around for a while. It's not suddenly going to disappear. You know, it's not. Um, you don't have to worry about security. You don't have to worry about SSL certificates. It's all done for you. You don't have to worry about your files. You can actually host your files on this platform as well, which is pretty damn good. And the the uh, servers are running on uh, the Amazon servers, so they're. They're pretty fast as well. Uh, you don't have to worry about the anything going wrong like you would if you were, had a, a WordPress setup that was running your membership site. Um, in terms of pricing, it's cheaper than Product Dino. It, it's a toss-up if you of whether you want to go with something like Product Dino, which is um, 
I would say more for people who are just slightly more technical, just more technical enough to to want to go for a platform like that, um, or something which is more expensive, like which like um, a JVZ member or uh, you know something similar to that, uh, or you've got this and it's fifty bucks and that's for life. And you can run as many websites as you want through it. You can as many customers. Uh, yes, you'll have to pay a one percent transaction fee, but it's one percent. I mean, you work work that out. What's one percent of five bucks every every month? It's not enough to worry about, I don't think. Um, I really like this software. It's not it's not as intuitive as JVZ Member. It's but it's nowhere near as difficult to set up as Wishlist Member or something like that. Uh, and uh, I'd, I'd be happy to approve this. In fact, I might end up using this software myself for something uh, uh, further down the line. And if I do, then, well, you know, maybe that Product Dino subscription that I've got going, maybe that's not going to stay around very long. I don't know. Uh, but it's certainly worth a look. It's certainly something that uh, if you are considering membership sites and haven't been able to afford it in the past, suddenly this is incredibly affordable. Uh, so I'm more than happy to uh, recommend this. Um, I there are a few caveats to that. I have heard that in the past they've had a few problems where because they were switching some templates, some people lost their sites. I believe that that is something that's happened once, and that most people are pretty happy with it. Uh, but on the whole, it's a good platform, and I really, really should look into it because uh, it's. I, I think it's an enterprise level platform. I think it's more uh, trying to compete with um, uh, with Infusionsoft or with Kajabi, is it called? You know, with software like that than it is a membership site software that you might buy for, for WordPress uh, or you might get uh, some other way. Um, in, for that reason alone, it's worth a look and it's worth a look at, uh, looking at the upgrade, seeing what you actually get with that upgrade and seeing if there's something in there that uh, you think is worthwhile. Anyway, that's it from me. Happy to approve this product and we'll see you next time on CyberTech. Thanks for watching.